Maya Washington's father played most of his football before she was born. When she learned of his role in leaving high school from Texas to help integrate the Big Ten Conference in the 60s, she decided to pay tribute to him by producing a documentary on his life. It was unveiled at the Twin Cities Film Festival. They gather at the local Uptown Theater to watch filmmakers put on display their work. This day is about sports and more. Maya Washington's documentary on her father's journey from Texas to Michigan State, furthering integration in college football. I mean, it's just surreal. I've been working on this for almost seven years, so to finally get to this moment, I'm, I'm just really happy. It is a project near and dear to this family because football changed their lives. Nobody in my family, because of segregation, had a chance to go on to college. Mm -hmm. And this was the first opportunity, and I was the first I had this opportunity and that means so much to me. It's even bigger than that because it brings together father and daughter to learn about each other. It's such a blessing, you know. I, I mean, had my dad in my life my, my whole life, so that's a blessing to have, you know, a dad. Um, but I really didn't know anything about his football career before this process. So it's been really cool to connect over football and, and spend time together that we never, you know, had a chance before in this unique way. We started meeting each other one by one. And it is a time to remember that there was a time when things were not equal on the college football playing field. It was very exciting for me, and of course when you're going through that, you don't really think about the integration type thing. But now I think about where I came from and how tough it was, and all of the support that Duffy at Michigan State, Big and Mon, our athletic director, and our president, President John Hanna, uh, they were all on board in terms of integration. Maya's gift is in the film industry. And this allowed her to bring her passions into focus and remind herself and others what once was. I hope, you know, people really think about the African-American pioneers here in Minnesota, um, but also throughout the country, people who really paved the way for the next generation of football players, both in college and in the pros. But while she chronicled dad's life, including time with the Minnesota Vikings, dad was able to tap into her life the long and detailed process of bringing stories to a big screen. She just got the idea that, Dad, you came from the segregation and all of you guys went to Michigan State. We, we got to do a, a documentary on that. And so I'm very proud of her. It's a, it's a lot of work, and she worked at it real hard. At the end of this journey, it seemed a win-win for everyone involved to have learned so much and educated so many. Almost seven years. It'll be like seven years this summer. I can't imagine not only how my life would have been different had my dad not had the opportunities he had as a football player, but now I can't imagine how my life would be if I hadn't gone through this process. I've, I've been blessed um, beyond comprehension uh, in terms of our relationship and just my personal understanding and appreciation for what he and others did.